in today's Health Watch. Autism in older parents. A new study finds as men get older, they are more likely to father children with conditions like autism. The study also has a bigger surprise. A mother's age has almost no impact on whether her children have developmental problems. Dr. Kathy Lord is with us. She's director of the Center for Autism and the Developing Brain at New York Presbyterian Hospital, while Cornell Medical College and Columbia University Medical Center. Welcome. It's nice to be here. Tell me about the study uh, I mean, and, and what it says to us new about autism. The study looked at a small number of families with children with autism, ch uh, children who eventually developed schizophrenia and other disorders. And what they found was that as the father's age increased, the number of mutations that have been found to be generally related to these conditions also increased. And how significant is the increase? Well, it's, it's statistically quite significant. So that's the power of this study. It was very elegant the way that they analyzed the data. But it really means that if the uh, rate of autism is 1 in 100 or 1 in 88, with these increases, they would expect that an older father might have a risk of about 2% instead of a little bit over 1%. And how do they define older? Yeah. That well, that's sense. a very good question. I mean, this study is based on a very small number of these analyses, very small number of families, and the range of these analyses was actually from 18 to 40. So they're not very much older. They had a few fathers who were over 40, mm -hmm. but not enough to really look at the statistics of that. But so, my, my understanding of, of developmental issues that come from older fathers mm -hmm. um, is that they always have raised certain questions about um, developmental and brain-related injuries. That's right. I mean, this study builds on a number of other studies that had similar findings. What this study did was do more complex statistics trying to sort out maternal age right. versus paternal age. And the problem there is that they're so highly correlated that in this study, no mother and father yeah. were more than four years age difference. And, and what's interesting to me, Gail, is, is the notion of why men, and there's no relationship, no correlation, from the, women, from the, the mother. Yeah. I, I was wondering what is happening with the fathers as they age that could be causing this condition? Well, there's general deterioration in your genetics. I mean, that is, you just have more mutations. And with fathers, those mutations occur more often, and they're more likely to be passed on to their children. So it's a statistical factor that you have more of these, and maybe one of them is associated with autism or schizophrenia or something else. And back to Charlie's point, why do you suppose, doctor, that it's affecting the men and not the women? Well, part of it is that men have a much broader age range of, of conceiving oh, children. children. Yes. So the women are narrower by definition mm. and partly on the whole in these studies there aren't 45 year old women with 20 year old husbands yes yes so i think that it becomes yeah, well, it becomes more, more difficult. More here. <laughs> <laughs> is there anything that the men can do well well one of the suggestions in the editorial was eventually we may encourage young men to freeze sperm put mm -hmm. it away and then if you decide at 50 you want to have a baby then bring it out i mean that could be true for women as well, but I don't think that's an immediate. You do raise an interesting question, though, which is the the kind of genetic development that men experience different than the kind of genetic development that women experience. No, it's well, it's that there there are more frequent reproductions in sperm. Right. So that means the more you're reproducing, the more likely things are to go awry. Mm. All right. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, you, Doctor.